What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice in this video here today. So we got our first look at the trailer for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice finally today. Michael Keaton looks absolutely phenomenal after nearly 40 years. We also got these first couple of images that you see coming across your screen as I'm recording. Uh, this next photo is of the Deets ladies and Lydia's fiance slash manager who is named Rory, I believe. Uh, from what I've heard, also the song Dale allegedly returns during this, funer this funeral scene with a choir singing the song. Michael Keaton, before I start talking about the trailer and share my thoughts on that, Michael Keaton has been making the rounds a bit and I just want to go through these comments he's made about the upcoming film before jumping into my thoughts on the trailer. He gave praise to Jenna Ortega recently when speaking with Entertainment Tonight. He said, oh boy, she's good, Keaton said of the Wednesday Star while speaking with Entertainment Tonight. She showed up and just immediately knew what the tone was and just slipped in like she does that every day. He concluded by calling Ortega special. Ortega, we know, is going to star as Astrid, who is Lydia's daughter, who attends a boarding school. I'm certain Michael isn't the only one with that mentality about Jenna. I remember when I first saw her in You Season 2 and I recognized her from Disney Channel and her performance in You Season 2 was just enough for me to know she's going to be big if the stars align for her and sure enough that's exactly what happened. She jumped from Wednesday or jumped from jump from that to Wednesday to Scream to Beetlejuice not in any particular order obviously she was in Scream first but literally weaving her way in and out of these iconic IPs while growing her fan base along the way thanks to her undeniable talent and being part of the Adams family Scream and now Beetlejuice is pretty big for someone who's only 21 years old and has the whole future in front of them now Keaton also gave praise to Catherine O'Hara on on the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast. We know Catherine O'Hara stars as Delia Dietz. He says, I can't tell you how good everyone is in it, he said, explaining that we can expect great things, particularly from Catherine O'Hara. If you thought she was funny in the first one, double it. Now, I'm not shocked at that because from what I know, Delia does have a lot more to do on paper. A lot more comedic things seem to come from Delia too. Granted, I don't know how that's gonna translate on screen because at least one person seemed disappointed at the way Delia was used. But I didn't get that from the from the majority of people. Majority of people seem to prefer how Delia is presented here versus the original. That's just what I've heard. Keaton has also seen a cut of the film saying this on Sirius XM a few days ago. He said at this point, I've seen it now. I'm going to see it again after a couple of little tweaks in the editing room. And I confidently say this thing is great. The original was so fun and exciting visually. The sequel is all that but really beautiful and interestingly, interestingly emotional here and there. I wasn't ready for that. It's great. As I mentioned in a lot of my other videos talking about Beetlejuice 2, there's material in the film that is very emotional and very relatable. And a lot of people that have been wanting this sequel, I'm not going to say you prefer, you would have preferred to see what they do. But the story itself is going to win you over. I feel like it's going to win over most people who grew up with the original. It's going to win over, obviously, the younger generation who have never seen Beetlejuice, probably getting introduced to Beetlejuice with their parents who are going to drag them to the theater as well for nostalgia purposes and want to introduce their children to Beetlejuice and this sequel that's long overdue. But diving into the trailer, we're going to talk about the trailer. So he's been hyping up the film, Michael Keaton at Bean, and we've been waiting for this trailer after several different delays during the week, alleged delays, because I'm starting to think maybe they were always going to drop it on Thursday. Uh, the trailer has finally arrived, and I'm not disappointed with it. It lines up with every story beat that I've heard. In the case of this, of course, just a teaser trailer, I would say. It's not like a full-blown trailer. Uh, but from what we saw of it, it is pretty good. It, it shows enough to get you excited, get you intrigued about what they're going to do with the story. We see uh, Lydia, played by Winona Ryder, of course, once again. We see Michael Keaton in the makeup. He looks absolutely incredible. He ends the teaser by saying the juice is loose. It was just very nostalgic. And having the Dale song play throughout it, very nice touch. I love this teaser. The teaser began with the WB logo. Then you could slowly start to hear, well, not slowly, Dale starts playing, but in this very kind of sad way. And you see why when you see all three generations of Dietz ladies at a funeral, obviously for Charles Dietz, who has passed away. That's the likely safe assumption. And before we even get to that, they waste no time highlighting that Jenna Ortega, one of the hottest stars in Hollywood right now, is in this movie. We see Astrid, who she's playing, Lydia's daughters. 
She's riding on a bike, going past the school she attends, the same school I believe her mother went to at the end of that original film. And she's just riding through town. We see an over aerial shot of the town, overhead aerial shot of the town. And then after the funeral, we see Astrid's discovered the miniature town upstairs in the iconic house. She's doing something up there, obviously, that she shouldn't be doing. We see Lydia rush into the room at one point, and at that point, it looks like she's too late because Beetlejuice Michael Keaton himself is already rising out of the town, and the way the music is building during that moment just made me very nostalgic, and he says the... He says these he says the phrase the juice is loose and then we get like one final shot of his face full makeup and michael keaton just looks absolutely phenomenal in this teaser trailer it was a very good teaser trailer i'm glad it was dropped i'm glad it finally was released i'm glad that the aesthetic was something that i was very pleased with the color palette in this trailer has me very excited to see this movie i was really loving the colors i loved the way everything looked what I don't understand is why WB was kind of beating around the bush with dropping this teaser trailer. It was very bizarre because it seems to have had taken a leak that you should have known was going to happen for you to officially drop it. The random drop of 5 p.m. almost seems like a last minute thing because it was leaked as if the trailer itself was supposed to drop tomorrow. But why would you not expect a leak if you're playing this teaser trailer in front of your Ghostbuster screenings? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice obviously is a highly anticipated long overdue sequel, so it was bound to leak. I don't know. It, it just seemed very bizarre to drop this at 5 p.m. instead of capitalizing on it earlier in the day at 12 p.m. when many people thought it was going to drop. And instead it took a leak because that's allegedly what contributed to us getting it to getting it at, at this time. It never really came off like it was supposed to drop at 5 p.m. It seemed very odd. I don't recall WB really dropping trailers at this time either. But what did you guys think about the teaser trailer? Obviously, there's going to be a full-fledged trailer that comes. If they didn't put out anything else, this would be more than enough for me. I was very satisfied with it. Uh, obviously, a full trailer is going to come highlighting Lydia's ghost show. I would assume Astrid's adventures into the afterlife and all the shenanigans she gets into. We didn't even see Beetlejuice's wife, so there's a lot more to come. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all of my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video